Today, I am really, really, really excited to show you this cigarette Top Gun 38. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the story of David Aronel, who started Cigarette Boats and the Cigarette Racing Team as well. Now, before we start, I'm on holiday. I'm in Calador, which is where our second base is. Uh, or third, whichever way you want to call it, but my brother Nick runs the Calador office here in Mallorca. And this yard here is full of all our boats for sale. And we bought this cigarette a few months ago, but I haven't been able to come out here for obvious reasons. So now I'm oh so excited. I'm gonna show you this boat and we'll go and have a look. And what do you think of my new t-shirt? My brother Nick got me this when we crossed the Atlantic on the Oyster because he said that I just get in the way and therefore I'm a danger to the boat, which I don't think was very nice, but it's a nice t-shirt, so I'm wearing it today. So let's go and have a look. The most important thing about a cigarette racing boat is the hull. Now, lots of them have got super fancy graphics, etc. This one's got kind of okay graphics. I've seen better. Um, but let's go look at the hull because I want to show you a couple of things. It's a really sharp V. It's 22 degrees. Now this is a 1994 model. Look at the size of these spray chines. And in true spirit of getting the maximum, maximum speed out of these boats, it, there's no anti fail But that is a really, really sharp hull. And it will push with these engines, which I'll show you, it'll push this boat up to about 75 miles per hour and it will slice through waves like hot knife through warm butter. That's pretty good. That will just slice the waves. Now, if you come around the back, I'm gonna show you the outdrives. So this boat is fitted with Mercury Racing Outdrives. And you might just think, well, what's the difference between a Mercury Outdrive and a Mercury Racing Outdrive? I don't really know, but I can tell you some things I've noticed. That it's got cooling fins on the top of the Outdrive. So when the water goes over the top, it will help cool the gears. You've got hydraulic steering. These are the hydraulic hoses. So if you just come back a little bit, You've got this tie rod, which connects both the drives together. So when you steer one, they both steer exactly as a pair. And you've got these really heavy duty, huge trim tab flaps, which are hydraulic too. So you can adjust the pitch and speed. But the best bit, it's got straight through exhausts. There's one. Two, three, and four. Now, I'm gutted that I can't show it running today because the noise is like thunder. You can imagine twin V8s with just straight through exhaust. It is unbelievable. It's part of the reason why people buy these boats. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump up on top and I'm going to explain to you a little bit, little bit about the cigarette story. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is apologise for two things. Number one, the boat is really dirty because I didn't tell them we were doing any filming, so we haven't cleaned it. And number two, it's 32 degrees in the shade. And so if it looks like I'm absolutely sweating buckets and I can't see, it's because I can't. Anyway, let's tell you a little bit about the story of cigarette boats. So cigarette boats were started by David Aronel in 1969 in Florida. And the boats, what we, well, they're called fast boats before cigarette boats. Fast boats were used in the prohibition era to move cigarettes and alcohol from ships offshore into prohibition America. So they wanted boats that were thin, long, and fast. 
But guess what? A cigarette is thin and long, isn't it? So they became popular through prohibition, but cigarette boats wasn't started until 1969. David, who started the company, had worked with Donzi and all the other fast American boat manufacturers, uh, but eventually he started cigarette boats. And these boats were sold to the rich and famous um, George Bush, the Beatles, various royal families around the world, and crooks. Crooks loved them too, because in the uh, 70s and 80s, they could move drugs from the Caribbean up to Miami very, very fast. Now, this boat here, like most cigarette top guns, is fitted with the Mercury V8s, which propel this boat up to 75, 80 miles an hour. And it absolutely goes through everything. You can imagine the water off the coast of Florida, how rough it is. Well, this just powered through the whole lot. So they were very good at winning offshore powerboat races too. Now, tragically, David was murdered in the late 80s by a business associate that he fell out with who was in prison at the time and paid another crook to bump him off. And you can read more about that online if you just Google David Arano. Um, so quite a fascinating story. story. And David was six foot three and a very good looking guy. And apparently he loved selling these at the boat shows. Um, and you can imagine having these at the shows and showing customers, you know, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I've always loved them. You've probably seen them mainly in, in um, films in the series of Miami Vice with Don Johnson. That's what made them famous. Anyway, so that gives you They're noisy, aren't they? So much noise and so little speed. This is so much noise and loads of speed. Um, anyway, enough about the history of cigarettes. Oh, you can buy, still buy cigarettes today. They've gone through numerous owners, but I think Lion Capital owns cigarette now. And you can buy a new one, and a lot of them have got big outboards on now, so that you can still buy into the history and the exciting brand of cigarette. So, let's go and have a look, closer look at the cockpit. So, because these boats go so fast, you have to have a special seat. So these are special racing seats. And, oh, don't know why that's unclipped. Let's put that back on there. And when you're sat in the seat, if you come round, when you come round, God, I can hardly get in the gap. Right, if you just go back there so we can get a bit of perspective. So you can kind of sit like here, and I'm kind of hemmed in. I'm a bit overweight, but you know, there's, an, is, there's a little, little bit of room. And you're just gliding over the waves. You can see at the front, look at the bonnet, bow, I mean, there's no windscreen. And this is just a speed machine. Now there's some words here that I could use to describe it. The second word is extension, but I'm not allowed to say the first word, but you can guess what it is. This boat is all about being a man. Anyway, you've got Lavorsi throttles, racing throttles. That's forward, neutral, reverse. And if you listen very carefully, these are the racing throttles. Can you hear that click? God, they're hot. They're just precision. Look, look at that. God, they're metal. And that is your throttles. And I think that's so you can put your arm out the window. The shout window's here. And you can graduate the throttles there. Beautiful. Twin keys, can you see the keys there? And then here you've got like twin ignitions, the twin fuel pumps, you've got the blowers, the hatch, the pumps, all the lights. These here are very important. These are the trims for the engines and the trim tabs. And here is the screen that I've cleaned earlier for you, which shows you where the tabs are up or down. And each press of that will, could make another five, six, seven, ten knots difference. So really, really important. 
You've got twin matching gauges, air meters for both engines. Um, what's that one? Lots of other gauges, depth sounder. You can tell it's 1994, look at that depth sounder. Compass and right in the middle of the dash, the um, uh, speed speedometer with the rev counter. I don't know what that is. Look at that, very strange. So let's go down below and see what it's like down below. Come on down. Now you can tell this is 80s designed. I mean, look at this white faux leather. Look at the minimalisticness of it. Look, I mean, what would you do with that bed other than store cigarettes, alcohol and drugs? I mean, it's not the most luxurious. To be fair, it's got quite a nice headliner. Look, I remember, remember these old pins. They're very nice. You've got twin sunroofs. You see them over here, look. And we have got a very elaborate sink, which you can see here. Everything looks like it's meant to carry things. Look at these catches. Look, they're all heavy duty. Stainless, look. Look at that, that is really, I mean, this boat will, when you're doing speed, it will shake itself to pieces. Let's have a look in here. You might want to go down that end a bit. So I, let's have a look. What's your head? Oh, we've got a really nice plastic catch here. Ooh, what a toilet. Let me show you the toilet. You won't want to spend long in there. That is not nice. <laughs> and then we've got the seats, there you go. And we've got another seat here. Looks like a strainer. What have we got here? Little cubby holes for oddments. God, I'm dripping in sweat. We've got a little cupboard under there. I mean, it's probably the most basic boat I've seen inside. We've got a cupboard there, look. We've got some little lights. But it does feel very well screwed together. And do you know the bit I like the most about it? Look at the cigarette number one mirror. Zoom it in. Cigarette number one. Is that a mirror? I think it is a mirror. In fact, let me go and have a look and see what's behind it. I'll crawl up here. You can imagine what these beds have been up to. Oh, this is a little bow locker that's not lined. But I love that, look at that. Got some big speakers. Oh, it's quite comfy actually. Oh, actually I could, yeah. Apart from the heat, I actually quite like it. Right, if we wander back out, I'll just show you a couple other bits. Look at the lovely blue carpet. By the way, I don't know if I've told you, you can buy this boat from us if you want to for 79,950, which means you can buy a slice of American history for under 80,000 pounds, and you will 100% annoy all your neighbors on the river. They will hate you. Look at all the switches here. You've got hot water, stereo. These are the trip switches. And someone has been kind enough They've not renewed anything else on this boat apart from the stereo system, which tells you an awful lot of, about the people that buy them. I love it. That cupboard won't open either. So let's go back into the cockpit. Okay, so let's have a look at the engine. You press this little button here and away it goes. And in here, as you can see, You've got a pair of Mercruiser High Performance Series 500 Magnum V8s, which push out an awful lot of power. Now, let me see if I can get in here. And I'll, God, dear. Show you a few key features. Okay, so the first thing is, here's the manifold. Don't zoom in too much, but there's the manifold and there's the exhaust straight to the back. Now, 
I'm not an engine expert, but as you can tell, there's no, there's no bafflers. So the sound comes out of those exhausts and straight through there. Look, and there's four of them. These are the carburetors. Can you believe it? it's got carburetors? This is proper old school. Really, really simple stuff. Fuel filters, twin V8s, loads of power. I think these knock out about 500 horsepower each, but I'm not an expert, so you might prove me wrong. But anyway, what a pair of beauties. So I, I don't, you're probably thinking, why are you so excited about this boat, James? I'm excited because the whole boat is pointless. The boat is just made for speed and fun and pleasure. Now, don't you think these days, as we become more politically correct and have to follow the norm, that it's great, you can still go and buy something as pointless as this. And I know some of you say in the comments, you know, what's the point of having a boat? There's no point, it's pointless. But they're unbelievable fun. And if you've never had a boat, you won't understand. But if you go on a boat, and if you experience something like this, you will understand that they're absolutely priceless, as is this, but actually it's 80,000 pounds. Now, the cigarette company has got this weird and wonderful past, which I explained about, and I think that just adds to the excitement of this fantastic American brand. What other boat can you buy that has murder, mystery, and suspense, and speed, and noise, and fun? None. I absolutely love it. Yeah. <laughs> How close that is to that, look, that's a joke. Right. 